Hey, welcome back. We're at Exodus 14. It's the Red Sea crossing. We're in process. Let's look at what happens from verses 23 to 25. Now, God's people have gone on across. What happens next? Then the Egyptians took up the pursuit in all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots and his horsemen went in after them into the midst of the sea. At the morning watch, the Lord looked down on the army of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and cloud and brought the army of the Egyptians into confusion. He caused their chariot wheels to swerve and he made them drive with difficulty. So the Egyptians said, let us flee from Israel. For the Lord is fighting for them against the Egyptians. So the Hebrews have gone through. God fought for them and opened the waters for them. And they went through. They went through on dry ground to the other side. And God's the cloud there prevented them via his cloud from going through. But now he, he lifts the cloud. Now the Egyptians come through. And now the walls of water are on either side as the Egyptian chariots are coming on through. They're coming to get the Hebrews and take them back into bondage. Uh, they need to make more bricks. So forward go the Egyptian chariots into the same space that the Hebrews have gone through. What's interesting here is that under the same cloud that was a guide and light to God's people, under that same cloud, the Egyptians become confused. They're dazed and confused and the chariot wheels begin to fall off and things are going crazy. They're losing their way. They, they're, they're, and so then they begin to realize they are fighting yet again against the God of heaven. And so he brings them to confusion. How many times does God operate this way? He lets his enemies come into confusion. So now they turn around and they're fleeing and they're fleeing saying, we've been fighting the God of the Hebrews. Let's get out of here. And so they're trying to get away now. Uh, that's where they are. They have made themselves God's enemy. They've gone after persistently, persistent, persistent. And now this is where they are. They're exactly in the watery space where they should never have been. And they're in a position of rebellion against God, which they should never have been. Like, why didn't you learn your lesson the first time? But the first 10 times. But anyway, here they are. Uh, but here they are. And here's the water on either side threatening to engulf them. And a terrible moment of fear, not for the Hebrews, but for the Egyptians. Let's see tomorrow morning what comes next.